Welcome back to this channel. It's Max from the Next Creation. If it's your first time come across this channel, please consider supporting this channel by subscribing. By the way, don't forget to hit that notification bell because you always be updated wherever we upload a new video. In today's video, let us look at the latest updates regarding the travel to Qatar, the FIFA World Cup, and the latest developments that we have. We have a few days, almost 30 or 29 days to FIFA World Cup Qatar, which is starting on November uh, 20th. It is going to be a very big tournament and we are looking at a lot of diverse. I told you we are looking at a lot of changes that are going to be coming into the country. Remember, one of the changes that came is what, what we call the visa visas that we are being banned or we are stopped at until further notice. Until when the FIFA World Cup Qatar finishes on uh, and that is from first, uh, from the visa visas we are banned from 1st November until January 20th. Meaning that between that period we are looking at people with a higher card or we are looking at the football fans that are coming to watch the, the match that will have the opportunity for those three months to come into the country and after they exit the country, I think we shall look at the country go back to normal. That is what we can expect. So, normal travel right now, which is a little bit... However, for people who have residence ID, if you have a residence permit and you're turning back to Qatar, you are welcome to return back to Qatar. If it is valid, you will be able to come back to Qatar. There is no problem. That is per according to the sources or according to the government sources that we had. In what is the latest updates today? The latest updates today, we are looking at the Ministry of Public Health. It is scrapping off what you call the antigen uh, PCR test for entry in Qatar. Remember before we had what you call a PCR test for those people that will be traveling to Qatar. Either you're traveling by 48 hours or you're traveling by 12 hours from your country of origin, you needed to have what you call, taken what you call a PCR test. And if you're a resident that would be a resident living in Qatar and you're returning back to Qatar and you were fully vaccinated with the three doses of the vaccine, uh, on either way, or Moderna, or just uh, over, uh, you'll only be needed to what you call to do what you call an antigen that will be taken in 24, uh, done into what you call 24 hours within uh, from the time of arrival, which has been moving on. It was the latest travel uh, guidelines that we are on, but right now the new latest travel guideline is that. The travel, the travel PCR test, the antigens have been scrapped off. You no longer need to have what you call a PCR test or what you call an antigen test on arrival cutter. Starting on 1st November 2022. And what does it come? It is, as according to the ministry, it is because of the enrollment that people engage themselves in in what you call the national vaccinations. Remember that we had the first dose, we have the second dose, then we had the third dose, which was booster dose. So, meaning that gradually, or around the whole world, most people engage in what we call, they went for vaccination. So, there was a need to relax for this and to encourage, or also to allow the field, the what the fans, also to come into the country and enjoy the FIFA World Cup in its own area. Remember, as regarding the latest update, the following, the following have been highlighted and which we are going to look at. One, it is mandatory for all individuals to carry what you call or to present what you call a health status green ethers when they're accessing what you call healthy facilities. For anyone that would wish to access any healthy facilities, you need to present what you call a green ethers. That is according to the latest uh, the latest updates or according to the latest restrictions that are there if you are going to have what you call uh, uh, treatment in any of the healthy centers. Then still, citizens that are returning to Qatar, they no longer need what we call a rapid antigen test or need to have, to have what you call a PCR test on arrival to Qatar. You can only arrive in, you can only come into the country and if you feel you don't have any symptom or anything that can make you isolate or go to a hospital, you definitely have to go and quarantine yourself in your in your place or your place of destination. However, the meeting stresses it that and says that if you feel some kind of signs that are not comfortable to you or are not clear to you, you can go to a hospital, try to check up and verify what it's all about. Then also, and there is no no more no more requirement for what you call a negative PCR test uh, on arrival or to present it on arrival COVID PCR test on arrival to Qatar. That is according to the ministry. However, the Ministry of Public Health and the government of Qatar still stresses it that that 
The other standard, the SOP of the COVID-19, or uh, which should be maintained or should always be put in consideration, the precautionary measures should continue to be practiced uh, so that we can keep everyone safe. And if you feel there's something that is not clear on you, uh, you feel some symptoms that are not clear, you can definitely go and check up and find out what could be the situation. And however, still 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 the, the, the ministry straightens it and advises all those people that are the travelers uh, are uh, reminded to check on what we call the travel and the return policy website to keep themselves updated on what we call the latest development that will always be posted there in case they need to have something in case to travel in one way and also that website is going to give you what we call the requirements for you to return or the requirements that you need to come to have when you're coming back to Qatar that is what we have there is no more uh, antigen PCR test into entry in Qatar. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for tuning to this channel. Remember, it's makes from the Execution TV and it's always your support which is very important. Thank you so much. By the way, don't forget to hit that notification bell because you'll always be updated wherever I upload a new video. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video.